Hey guys, today on Axe Outdoors, I'm going to show you how you identify a maple tree. Um, sorry about the wind, it is blowing today, and it's also snowing hard, so uh, I'm going to try to shoot this video quickly, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so right now I'm standing underneath a maple tree. So, some of the identifying features of the maple tree, the biggest is the leaves, but I don't have any right now. Where are my dogs? That? Okay, so these identifying features are the leaves, but we don't have any on the tree right now, so I'm going to go off the bark. So the identifying features of a maple tree's bark is that it is sh like armor, so it's piled on top of each other, and older maple trees like this one will flake off, sugar maples anyway. So they're tightly covered like this, and because we haven't had uh, too much of a snowfall this year, I can pick up some of the leaves off the ground. So this is what one of the maple leaves will look like. The outside of the leaf is usually darker as the bottom side is usually lighter. And then you also want to look out for the three main veins. One, two, three. That's one of the main identifying features of a sugar maple instead of a red maple or a silver maple. There are also all the lobes. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, and five. This one's kind of torn up though is another identifying feature along with the deep U's as you see here connecting all of the lobes I mean shallow U U's yeah so this is one of the maple trees I'm going to use for my sugar bush this year I can probably get a few liters out of here before I close the hole and yeah uh, another thing just on the sticks you can tell by the bark pattern if you can see that if my camera wants to focus in but anyway, on the bark, it's usually more reddish and it has these little white specks in it. Like this one, it's kind of hard to see, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, also they grow perpendicular to each other or at a right angle. The leaves and twigs. So you can see here, sort of, focus. Anyway, so there are little brown lobes starting to grow perpendicular from each other and that is another identifying feature of the sugar maple. So this is how I identify the sugar maples in the winter time. So I'm going to flag this one and then yeah use it for my sugar bush. I'm going to do a tutorial in March on that so stay tuned for that. So uh, thanks for watching Axe Outdoors and I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe and I'm going to go get out of the snowstorm.